Now I see that the view controller holds references to recipes. And who creates the recipes? It's uh, the view model. The view model, all right. The view model. So when you get a result back from the get all recipe method, you get a result type. What is this result type? Let's have a look. The common result. What is a common result? It's a structure, I guess, like, uh, because uh, with the, uh, uh, with the content full, they, each time they send this data. So in the case, I just uh, did, uh, I did the, the common result. In the case, for example, if I add another API and I want to do the call, so th this common result will be available. Okay, so any kind of endpoint you have with Contentful, you would have the similar structure, then you can mm -hmm. reuse it. So here you will control the pagination we were talking about, right? Yeah. Total, limit, skip, items, okay. So this is very specific to Contentful, right? This is very specific to the Contentful implementation. So ideally, this should not be here in this interface because this interface is hiding implementation details, right? That's why we use protocols. Protocols are abstract interfaces that you can implement. You can have multiple implementations. So you want to hide implementation details from the interface of the protocol. So if you want to load recipes, it sounds like what you need here is actually a real recipe. That's what a recipe service should provide. Yeah. Now the content full API service implementation needs to generate common result and then transform it into recipes. So who is transforming from common result into recipe at the moment? uh it's in the view controller yeah okay view controller so here we get the common result yes yeah. mm -hmm. the result here is common result we construct our view model and then we create a view model and, and the view we... model creates the recipes yes okay so then the okay. view model is coupled with the implementation details of the content flow yeah because it's uh, so tricky, <clears throat> so tricky. Because it's so tricky, like uh, to construct data from content form. It was like a little bit uh, for how to do the the f filtering data and how to get uh, like uh, information from uh, the recipes because it was a huge data. So this is why I encapsulate or right. Yeah. Yeah. It's tricky to use this API. <laughs> yeah. So maybe that's why they wanted you to have used the content for SDK. Yeah, maybe. It would be simpler, right? Yeah. So then if you didn't have a lot of time to do it, you could have used the SDK, but they didn't tell you to use the SDK, right? But if you did, you could have focused more time to write tests, for example, right? You would have more time to focus on other things that they cared more about. Looks like they didn't care a lot about actually doing the all this mapping they wanted to see you now just use the content full SDK yeah and focus your time more on architecture dependent injection error handling tests and so on it was not very clear right they didn't give you gui guidelines so you didn't know yeah. what to do you made a bet <laughs> yeah all right so let's remove the implementation details from the protocol first so what we want here is to return result. Oh, uh, recipe. Recipe. <laughs> so we want the interface here. B. Get our recipe, returns a publisher that loads recipe or fails. Make sense? Yes. Now the implementation of the contentful recipe service will get common result and convert it. So let's see this. We can get the implementation from the view model and literally just move it there. Yeah, literally. Literally copy and paste. Doesn't even need to be static in this case. Yeah, for this case, so I'm gonna call it. <laughs> literally just call mapping. 
Chrome requests. And I think we are done. Is that it? No. Uh, what does this no, return request? It's a publisher. It's a right? publisher. I think we I need, to, so say need to say dot map. All right. So then let's make it a static then. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Up mapping the result. And then we need to erase to any publisher. That's it. Because it's any publisher in the interface. And this is a private implementation detail of the contentful recipe. Yeah. Service. And you decouple all these concrete implementation details from the view model, from the view controller. So it sounds like you don't even need a view model then in this case. Just a simple MVC approach. Let's see, the view controller now doesn't need to create a view model because you already get the recipes. recipes. Yes. So those now are recipes. Let's see the type array of recipe. So you can just actually assign that recipe to your property. Let's have a look at this property. Yes, array of recipes. Right. And every time you set this array, you update, well, you can tell the collection view to reload data. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And this happens the, <laughs> this, but in main, right? A couple of times there. But so what you can do is uh, tell your your stream to receive on the main thread, right? Because you're using combine. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you're using combine, yeah, you can do all the thread hopping in here. So receive on dispatch queue. Okay. Don't need to pass any options. And now you're already on the main queue. You don't need to defensively dispatch the main queue everywhere. Yeah, I see. Exactly. Yeah, you can remove it in the did set as well. And now in the did set, it can be much simpler as well. Private, no one can set it directly, only inside the view yeah. controller. And it's already dispatching to the main queue in here. All right. We can even use uh, optional chaining. We need to. Yeah, let's go. Wrap. Let's one line. Let's. Okay. So, yes, avoid dispatching to the main queue in multiple places. As you can end up have issues. If this API completes like maybe multiple times. In a couple of seconds, you can have like, some glitches in the UI. Okay, so avoid dispatching to the main queue everywhere. Try to centralize this in one place. It will be simpler. So our protocol now, so the view model was depending on that concrete types. Now we encapsulate all the content full specific details into the service. And I guess we don't need this view model anymore. Yeah. I'm going to keep it here because you have tests for it, right? Yes. But ideally, those tests should be through the service. Mm -hmm. You can migrate those tests to test this mapping through the service. Because it's fairly complex logic here. You want to have tests. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Does everything make sense so far? Yeah, Any yeah. Questions? Awesome. So this will improve a lot the design. And this is just a simple MVC solution now.